Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Raf, and welcome back to the Masters Collection, a new creative project series where I outline and explain the potential full teams of each Masters 8 trainer. Last time, we covered Symphia's team, and if you missed it, then be sure to check it out alongside the previous trainer teams to understand the format of these videos. Today we'll be covering Ranked 1 Masters 8 trainer Leon. There's a bunch of information to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support, and be sure to bring out the next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't ready to keep up to date, and without further ado, let's begin. Let's start off by talking about Leon's background. Leon made his debut in episode 12 of the series, where he took on Lance in the final of the previous season of the Masters 8 tournament. Leon is also the childhood friend of Sonya, to which he grew up alongside his Charmander. Leon has taken on various opponents during his time as the world champion monarch, alongside having a role during the Darkest Day arc. In episode 109, Leon was still confirmed to be the number one ranked trainer in the world. He defeated Alain in episode 115, elevating into the semi-finals, to which he then took on Diampha. At the time of this video, Leon has been confirmed to have three Pokemon on his team. With the inevitable battle between Ash vs Leon set to happen in the finals of the PWC Masters 8 tournament, we will 100% be seeing Leon use a full team of six Pokemon. Whilst we don't know what these other Pokemon may be, it's still fun to speculate the potential insight as to which Pokemon Leon may introduce. Let's start off with the confirmed options, these being his Charizard, capable of Gigantamaxing, Dragapult, and his latest member revealed being Rillaboom, which too has accessibility to the Gigantamax mechanic. For the concept of Leon's team, we're going to carefully consider which Pokemon he could use to make up his full team. Seeing as Leon is bound to battle Ash, this full team and other options in rotation could be likely, with a variety of Pokemon that could coincide with this climactic battle ahead. Due to this, we're going to come up with a few Pokemon that Leon could have added to his team prior to entering the Masters 8 tournament. Now let's take a look at the potential options that could make up Leon's full team that he could use in the Masters 8 tournament. Before I begin, the details I'll be discussing are in no particular order. This is just pure speculation. The first set of Pokemon taking the first entry are Aegislash, Haxorus, Seismitoad, and Rhyperia. All of these Pokemon are members from Leon's in-game counterpart. Following the trend on how most of the Master State trainers have Pokemon confirmed from their in-game counterpart onto their anime team, I feel like either one of all four of these Pokemon could make up on Leon's full team. I still do believe that Leon could have many other options that he could use in the form of rotation. I'd probably say Aegislash, Seismitoad and Rhyperia are the most likely options. Haxorus is a Pokemon that has had the biggest focus due to Iris, but still, that doesn't mean it can't be on Leon's team as well, especially seeing as the Master State trainers are also known to have same speed PC Pokemon. A Pokemon I think Leon should have on his Master Seed team is Mr. Rhyme. I like this choice for a couple of reasons. Leon's big battle is going to be against Ash, that we all know, and Leon having Mr. Rhyme will benefit him greatly, because not only will its Ice-type moves do big damage to Ash's two Dragon types, but so will Fairy-type moves it can learn, which will also impact Ash's Surfetched as well as the Dragons. While Mr. Rhyme can only learn Dazzling Gleam as its Fairy-type move, it's still a really good and powerful attacking Fairy-type move. Also considering Leon has a Dragapult and the chance of also having a Hexorus, it gives his team some more balance in the end. Mr. Rhyme could also be perfect for Diantha if it has the ability Screen Cleaner. This ability will nullify all screen-based moves used on the field. Seeing how Diantha set up some screens against Lance, Mr. Rhyme completely removing them would be great strategy for Leon, something he is good at. It works even better for Leon when he's even more of an offensive battler. So this will allow him to hit even harder, and adding on to this, Mr. Rhyme's special attack is pretty good, allowing Leon to deal some good damage. We also have yet to see Mr. Rhyme in the anime, so this can be good for that. And maybe it would even be cool to see Ash's reaction to Leon having a form of Mr. Rhyme of his own. I also just think Leon and Mr. Rhyme are a really cool and underrated duo. Both of them give off this silly little vibe, and I just think they'd have good chemistry out on the field that'd just be fun to watch, especially since, to me, Mr. Rhyme kind of reflects a little bit of Leon's silly, goofy personality. And of course, they're hat buddies, because as we all know, Leon loves his hats. With Rillaboom being one of the Galar starters Leon owns, I reckon in light of the anime series in relation to the game counterpart, Leon could potentially also own Cinderace and Inteleon. I personally wouldn't mind if both of these Pokemon were Leon's team. It would be pretty cool to see Ash take on all three of these Pokemon, especially for the fact in the way that Go owns these Pokemon too. We could maybe get a nice backstory to how Leon obtained all three of these Galar star Pokemon. Maybe this could also explain how it was capable of Gigantamaxing, with Mustard being possibly teased or mentioned. For the champion of the Galar region, there's no denying that the strongest trainer in the world could also be a trainer like Ash, 
to own various starter Pokemon, especially with all of them from a specific region. The thought of Leon even owning all these Pokemon in their Gigantamax forms could definitely change things up for Ash. The first wildcard entry on Leon's team is Eternatus. Now before you go, oh, but Raph, Ash and Go locked up the Eternatus in a Pokeball. Yes, I know, like, I actually watched the show on like some of these fools. Eternatus is simply being mentioned due to Pokemon Masters. The fact that this sync pair exists is just hilarious but also frightening. Can you actually imagine the strongest trainer in the world being paired up with the strongest Pokemon in the world as well? I'd probably poo my pants. I'm not really going to add this as a full potential option on Leon's team, seeing as we know what happened with Eternatus in the end, but instead, Let's have a look at the next wildcard entry. For Leon's wildcard Pokemon, I have gone with Calyrex, the king Pokemon, and I think this is a very fitting Pokemon for Leon to use as his wildcard entry. In Leon's debut episode, he was described as the king of kings. He is the champion of champions, so is said. This gives both of them a bit of a connection, because, you know, they're both kings. Now just to add on to it, if I had to pick between its forms, I would give Leon the Ice Rider. And I know considering my logic with Mr. Rhyme, this makes his final team a little bit unbalanced, but this is the wildcard entry, Leon having a Calyrex is a very small chance, but just hear me out here. In the Calyrex Ice Rider Pokedex entry in Sword, it stated that this Pokemon showed no mercy to those who got in its way, yet would heal its opponent's wounds after battle. This reminds me of Leon quite a bit, Leon going all out in his Pokemon battles, showing no mercy to his opponents, and battling his best, yet at the very end of it all, he was always there to pick up his opponents and show good sportsmanship. Like he did with Ash the first time they battled, he gave his Pikachu an Oran Berry, and was so kind to help Flint back up on his feet after their match, and complimented Raihan and Lance after their battle as well. Would they want him to have a Calyrex without the horse or just the Shadow Rider form? All forms for him work, because it's Calyrex at the end of the day. I just went with the Ice Rider because of the connection between the two based off the Sword Pokedex and just the fact that they are both kings in some way. <laughs> The final wildcard entry for Leon's team is a new Generation 9 Pokemon. The Pokemon anime has been well known for teasing and revealing new Pokemon ahead of their generation prior to Ash visiting the said region. With the way this battle is going to go, I truly reckon that no matter the result, Ash will be visiting the new Generation 9 Paladia Spanish region. I've always had canon for Kukui to reveal a new Generation 8 Pokemon prior to Tapu Koko entering the battlefield. There are so many undiscovered mysteries surrounding this, and I hope that Leon will be the next character to do the same. Of course, Ash will either defeat or lose this Pokemon to then learn about the new region, and maybe after becoming the new world champion monarch or drawing with Leon, this could then be the catalyst to push his new motive forward. But who knows what could happen. So looking at the options, I personally believe that Leon's full Pokemon team could be Charizard, Dracopult, Rillaboom, Inteleon, Cinderace, and a new Generation 9 Pokemon, with Aegislash, Mr. Rhyme, Seismitoad, Rhyperia, and Calyrex, other potential options. Now there's no saying that Leon could own one or more of these Pokemon in rotation, but by breaking down the logical options with a realistic approach thanks to existing clues and events in the Pokemon anime, it seems that these could be options that could make up his full team that he could use in the Masters 8. With Leon set to battle Ash in the final of the Masters 8 tournament, the hype of finding out what other Pokemon is caught across his journey is very high. If this is the case, then it would be exciting to find out what other Pokemon he owns on his team. Huge thank you to the sis Kayla for joining me on this video. Be sure to subscribe to Kayla and follow her on Twitter, as she's the biggest Leon stan in the community, so be sure to show her some love. We have now come to the final installment of the Masters collection focusing on Ash. Stay tuned for an announcement about this project exclusively on my Twitter account. I would recommend following my account and turning on notifications, as you definitely don't want to miss this one. But why not let me know what you think Leon's full team would be in the comments section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Team PokerF Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave it a like as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my videos and click on the little bell to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.